limit at infinity for rational function. Case 1, limit x approaches infinity fx over gx. fx and gx are polynomial function. Then, divide each term by x with the highest power denominator. Case 2, limit x approaches infinity fx over gx. Or limit x approaches infinity set fx over gx. Either fx or gx are set function, then divide each term by x. Remark if limit x approaches infinity square root n fx over gx equal square root of n limit x approaches infinity fx over gx then use case 1 divide divide each term by x with the highest power denominator example 2 case 1 Find limit x approaches infinity to x cubed plus x squared minus 3 over x cubed plus x plus 2. For this case, to solve, we divide. We can see here, we can get x cubed is the power highest power denominator. Then we divide each term. For numerator and denominator with the, the highest power of x, it is x cubed. You can get to x cubed over x cubed plus x squared over x cubed minus 3 over x cubed. Over x cubed over x cubed plus x over x cubed plus 2 over x cubed. We divide by with x cubed for each term numerator and denominator. After simplify, we can get 2 plus 1 over x minus 3 over x cubed over 1 plus or 1 over x squared plus 2 over x cubed. After that, we substitute limit x infinity. We can get 1 over infinity equals 0. 3 over x cubed also 0. 1 over infinity also 0. Plus 2 over infinity also 0. The answer is 2 after simplify. Find the limit x over 3x squared minus 1 for when x approaches negative infinity. We can see here x squared is the highest power denominator. To solve, we divide each term with x squared for numerator and denominator. After divide, we can get x over x squared over 3x squared over x squared minus 1 over x squared. Then, after simplify, we get limit x approaches to infinity, 1 over x over 3 minus 1 over x square. After substitute negative infinity, we can get this part 0, this part also 0. 0 over 3, answer equals 0. Another example, find limit x approaches positive infinity for x cubed plus 2 over 3x squared minus 1. To solve, we see the denominator part. We can get the highest power of x is x squared. We can divide each term for numerator and denominator with x squared. After divide, we can get x cubed over x squared plus 2 over x squared over 3x squared over x squared minus 1 over x squared. After simplify, we can get x plus 2 over x square over 3 minus 1 over x square. Then we can substitute limit x equal infinity. We can get infinity plus 0 because 2 over x square equals 0. 1 minus x square also equals 0. Infinity plus 0 over 3 minus 0, we can get infinity. Positive infinity. Find limit x approaches positive infinity. 
root of 3, 3 for 3x plus 5 over 6x minus a. Inside denominator, inside cert, we can divide each term with the highest power degree of denominator. When we see here, we can get x is the highest power denominator. Okay, each term inside cert, we divide with x. You can get 3x over x plus 5 over x over 6x over x minus 8 over x. After simplify, we can get root of 3 limit x approaches infinity, 3 plus 5 over x, over 6 minus 8 over x. We can substitute infinity for x, you can get here 0, here also 0. The answer is 3 over 6, root of 3, equal 1 over root of 3 for 2. Case 2. Limit x approaches infinity fx over square root gx or limit approaches infinity for square root fx over gx. Either fx or gx are sub form for polynomial fun function divide each term by x. For square root function divide for x approaches infinity divide with third positive third x square. If x approaches negative infinity divide with negative square root x square. Example 3. Find limit x approaches infinity x plus 1 over square root x square plus 1. For To solve this limit, we divide each term by x. For numerator part, we divide by x. We can get x over x plus 1 over x. For, but for square root x square plus 1, we divide with square root x square. Actually, square root x square equal x. To merge or to combine with square root x square plus 1, we must divide by square root x square equivalent with x. That's why we can get 1 plus 1 over x square for numerator. Then after substitute infinity, you can get 1 over infinity equal 0. 1 over x square also becomes 0. You can get 1 over 1 equal 1. Limit x plus 1 over square root x square plus 1 for x approaches negative infinity. For this part, we can see the highest degree of x inside the numerator is x square. That's, that's why you can divide by numerator part with x but square root of x square plus 1, you divide by negative square root x square. Why we divide by square root x square negative here? Because limit your x approaches negative infinity. When simplify, you get 1 plus 1 over x over 1 square root 1 negative square root 1 plus 1 over x square. 1 plus 0 over negative square root 1, you get, get negative 1. Remark, square root x4 equal x square for polynomial function divide with x square for square root function divide by square root x4 find limit x approaches infinity for x plus 1 over square root x4 plus 1 the highest degree of x here is square root x4 or x square that's why we divide square root x Square, uh, x plus 1 with square root x4 at all x square. You can get x square plus 1 over x square. For denominator part, you divide by square root x4 for each term. You can get square root x4 over x4 plus 1 over square root 1 over x4. After that, you can simplify. You can get 1 over x plus 1 over x square. Square root 1 plus 1 over x square. x to the power of 4. You can substitute limit infinity. You get 0 plus 0 over square root 1 plus 0. Your answer equal 1. Equal 0.